your girl Reese Bing and I'm back with another makeup tutorial today this look is inspired by one of my favorite makeup artists that I follow on Instagram and her name is Angel Cumberbatch um, she did something similar to this on one of her clients but you know I just put my own little spin to it and if you want to see how I created this look stay tuned guys Bye. primer I'm going to use Too Faced Hangover so nourishing to my skin it gives me that extra moisture because I do have dry skin and eczema on my face it, and you can honestly like smell the coconut in here and it smells so really good and I just like to pat it in in the areas where I do need like the most hydration at now that I'm all primed I'm actually going to step off camera so I can do my eyebrows and I'll be right back girl okay so these are my eyebrows these are just going to be my eyebrows for today I you know they're a little they're sisters right now they're definitely not twins but I do have my inspiration picture and I don't know if you guys can see that but this is my inspiration for the look that I'm doing today and this is actually done by a makeup artist Angel Angel this is actually done by makeup artist Angel Cumberbatch Cumberbatch I believe that's how you say it so shout out to her for being my inspiration I'm about to recreate this look and I'm about to get it show pop in I'm going to use soft ochre cake pop by MAC and I'm gonna use that to and I wanna use this to uh, prime my eyes. I'm gonna take this long lasting eyeshadow base, and this is by Nikki K. For my first shade, I'm actually gonna lay down um, an orange shade, and I'm gonna go into my old and trusty VH Girl Cosmetics Party Girl palette. Don't even look at that, that's disgusting. This is old, this is old, but favorite. Like this video if you remember this palette. So I'm actually gonna take this orange shade right here. I'm gonna take that on the lens brush. Purple shade on the same blending brush, and I'm actually just gonna put that over top of where I just placed that color. Brush, I'm actually gonna go into um, my Kat Von D Maybe the Loca palette and I'm gonna take the shade Box which is a rich brown color I'm gonna take this on a dome brush I'm gonna focus this on the upper V corner but I'm gonna position brush and I'm gonna actually blend up if it makes sense so I'm putting the brush right here and I'm blending up moving my product so kind of make a line like that. Something like that. So oh, that orange shade is like completely lost right now. So okay, so I'm gonna go back into the H. No. <laughs> I'm gonna go back into the Me H Melali song Kelly's. Yeah, oh my gosh. Take six. I'm gonna go back into the BH. I'm gonna go back into the Mi Vida Loca palette, and I'm actually gonna grab this shade analog right here. I'm actually gonna take this 
brush and dip back into the deep brown shade. We're going to carve out where I'm going to put my um, eyeshadows down on the, um, on the white face again. So now that my lid is all carved out, take this um, pigment by Mix. By Mix. I'm actually going to take this pigment by Mix, and this is in the shade Pearl. I'm going to take this on a small brush, and I'm going to pop this in my inner corner. I'm going to go back into the potty girl. Party. I'm going to go back into the Party Girl palette and I'm going to take this pink right here. Alternating between the two palettes, and this is a little still, this is still a little like too light for what I was trying to go for. So I'm actually going to take this shade, what is this? Oh, Spoon. I'm actually going to take the shade Spoon in the um, Vita Loco palette, and that's right here. I'm just going to dip in here probably about two times just to pat over the color and intensify it. I don't necessarily want to change it, I just want to intensify this color a little bit. So this color still isn't quite like normal for me. I'm gonna go with my um, Electric Palette by Urban Decay and I'm gonna take the shade Savage and I'm just gonna actually place this over like the lid area and just to sharpen up where the cuts. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna go back in with the color Destroyer, which is the hot pink color. You can see how hot pink that is. And this is gonna be our third shade, and I'm just gonna go back. So I'm gonna grab the shade Anthem right here, and we're gonna use this brush in. shade that we use and I'm actually going to just build a V. So I'm going like this and I'm just going to build it. Okay, so now that the eyes are almost done, I'm going to take Mix Aqua Glam Liner and this is in the shade 6. Oh, Glam Pink. Oh, so I'm going to start right here and I'm actually going to make like a line in my crease. So I'm going to start right where that pearl shade is. And I'm going to just write it in. A little silvery on camera. It does actually look a little silvery on, on my eyes too, but it's actually like a baby pink shade. So on top of this, I actually want to add a little bit of glitter on top of like the line. So um, I don't, it, this is just some off brand as glitter. I don't know who made this. But I'm actually going to dip it in some ombre as, as glitter. And this is by Ben Nye. So I'm just going to take a little bit and dip it in. And I'm just going to go over that just a little bit. So since I wiped away, I'm just going to go and add like a little bit of primer. Just because I know I wiped away a little bit of primer. I'm gonna go in and color correct. I'm gonna use LA Girls Pro Concealer, and this is the shade orange. I'm just gonna go in and color correct where I have a little bit of hyperpigmentation at. Today I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation, 
and I got a sample because I didn't want to commit to buying like a what is it $40 foundation and not liking it so I got a sample of it oh and I'm in the shade Y455 oh this this is real cute I can't wait to do okay so I do like the consistency I like the smell of it I really do like the smell of it it looks like skin are we like am I late to the date? I really like that. It doesn't feel like super heavy and it doesn't look super heavy. It look like look how the double chin everything is blend in. Like that is just that's just a new. That's new to me. You know what I mean? That's new to me. Hey makeup forever. See what you're doing right here. I see how you treating the people. Treat them real good. Who man is they? Who man? So, um, my sample will be turning into a full size one. I think I have a new favorite foundation. Oh. So, now I'm going to go with the Sephora Bright Future Gel. Oh my gosh, I just messed it. Oh my gosh. Now I'm going to go with the Sephora Bright Future Concealer, and I am in the shade Cream Caramel. Okay, caramel caramel, however you pronounce it. It's like this bitch. When I was on a date with my man and we were at uh freaking oh and we were at freaking Dave and Busters and I had said Caribbean and she was like Caribbean like bitch don't 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 correct me don't you know it's all about the person and how you pronounce it the same fucking thing. Caribbean 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 same thing Yutch <laughs> we went there so not even so long ago, but we went there like it wasn't recent. And you guys know I already had my setting powder already set to the side and it's the little Mercier translucent setting powder and because I have to hurry up and quickly like set this as soon as I blend. I'm gonna go with my Chessy Desi um, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation Powder Foundation. Okay, so I'm actually just gonna go ahead and like dust this away, but I'm also gonna like push it in my skin just to blend it in a little more. For eyeliner, I'm going to use my Lancome's Le Crayon Cole, and this is Black Ebony. So I'm going to go back in with the shade Destroyer, that hot pink shade, and I'm actually going to place that under my lower lash line. Make sure you knock off your brush because you don't want to get like too much fallout being though we already did a foundation on me. And now I'm going to go back in with the color box, which is that deep uh, brown shade. And I'm just actually going to just um, take the 24 hour colorful eyeliner, and this is in the shade black. I'm more so just going to create more of an inner cat eye right here. Eye right here. Just a little bit of liner, and then I'm also just going to take it over my uh, top lash line. I'm not really going to wing it out. I'm 
first I'm going to go in and warm my face up with blunt blush and this is by MAC. Okay, so, so do you see what warming the skin up does? Like give your face back a little bit of color in the areas where you want a little bit of dimension at. So now I'm going to go with the rich mahogany and I'm actually going to contour my cheeks. And I'm also going to take this shade and I'm going to contour my nose with it. Okay, so I added my lashes and I actually did something off camera. I went back in with this brush and I took a little bit of black eyeshadow and went right over that V that we made in the corner. And I also went back in with this liner and I just um, cleaned up the line right here in the front. So things look a little bit different and I do have my lashes on. Okay, so I contoured um, for blush. I'm gonna be using City Colors Desert Treasure and this is in the color Heat Wave. So sorry, like the lighting and stuff is changing. I'm losing daylight and I'm recording with regular daylight and I'm by the window. So I did pick up this bad boy the other day. Me and my little sister, we got it and we we're so pressed about it. So we got the Anastasia Glow Kit. And I'm not, oh, this is the ultimate glow because I have another one. So. <laughs> We're gonna mix white sand and amber gold. I'm gonna mix white sand and sun ray. grab my ring light because um, I'm just using way too much light and I feel like you guys can't see me. I'm actually gonna line my lips with Forever Matte Ruby Kiss Lips Liquid Lipstick and apparently I guess this is new. I got this from my local beauty supply in the hood. The hood in the hood. going to go in with Max Lip Glass and this is in the color Saint Germain. For seven face I'm going to use LA Girl Pro Setting Spray. And I've been actually loving this and this is only like what like three bucks. It's, it's so worth it. And while this is still wet, I'm actually going to go back in with, I'm actually going to go back in with my um, two highlighters and I'm going to intensify my glow. Yes! Ooh, this glow, baby. Okay guys, this 
is the finished look i hope you guys like this don't forget to like comment subscribe and even share this video until next time ciao guys